Good morning, gourmet friends. I am the French chef Gerard Garbet. Great to see you again. Today, we're going to do this French charcuterie, the famous pâté de campagne maison. Made at home for a great saving. Mm. Oh, this one is good. All what you need is love. Let's get all the ingredients ready. For this nice little recipe, pork meat, chicken livers, uh, clean properly of course, bacon, breadcrumb, eggs, seasoning, garlic, shallots, and all the fresh herbs from the garden. Tarragon, rosemary, thyme and parsley. Let's start by chopping the shallots. Melt the butter in a hot pan and cook the shallots until melted. Crush the garlic and cook it just until melted. Cut the pork shoulder in slice, then in strips. For easy insertion in a mixer. Now you do the same with the belly to put them in a mincer. Now assemble the metal foot grinder attachment with a coarse grinding plate. That's the one with the large holes. For your security, secure well the body in the mixer attachment hub. Check also that you don't have too much loose jewelry. Adjust a clean bowl to catch the meat. Add the strips now one by one in the little hole there. But use the plastic pusher to push the meat deeper. Use the slow speed to avoid the grinder to warm up too much. At the end, add a piece of bread to clear all the meat that stay in the mixer. Now mix your fresh herbs, rosemary, thyme, tarragon and parsley. For your spice, half a teaspoon of uh, ginger, cloves, cayenne and uh, nutmeg. For the thickening, beat the eggs and mix with the breadcrumb. Now add all the flavoring to the farce, salt, green peppercorn, the four spice, the chopped herbs, the shallots and garlic and the mixture of eggs and uh, breadcrumb. Now mix well together. And at the end add your little glass of brandy. Put a third of the farce in a terrain and press down. Display your pistachio all around. Add a second layer of farce. Then lay some bacon on the surface and cover with another third of the farce. Flatten well to avoid air pocket. Add a few bay leaves on top, put on the lid and seal with the lasting paste. For the second variant pate, line a mold with bacon rusher, put 
half of the fast in the bottom, add two lines of pistachio, fill up the mold with the fast, and flatten the surface to avoid air pocket. Fold back the bacon strips and add bay leaves. Cover with baking paper, then cover tightly the top with a double layer of foil. You are ready to cook. Bon voyage. Cool down your terrine on the grid. When cold, add some pork jelly around your terrine and let it in the fridge overnight. Add a flat lid on your terrine with two cans of food to compress and leave in your fridge overnight. To unmold the pate easily, dip it in hot water 2 or 3 seconds. Turn out in a serving tray, decorate and chill again before serving. Les amis, bonne santé. We're going to try this little terry. Oh, firstly, oh, that smells good. Mm. And like French people, they use little cornichon. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Oh, this one is good. I recommend it. You can do it for Christmas. Mm. The savor, even the pistachio. You can taste the brandy. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. So, to clean my throat. Mm. What a delicious. See you later on the next video.